You're driving to work in the morning or you're dropping off your kids or oh, you're coming back from dinner late at night and you notice you have a flat tire and your car doesn't have a spare tire or you simply don't know how to change the wheel in your car. Today I'm going to show you the easiest solution to get you going in no time and no, it does not involve calling a tow truck. And my solution is so simple and so easy that I'm even wearing a white shirt under my vest to show you that I'm gonna stay squeaky clean. And before you ask, yes, yes, I'm holding an M3 steering wheel. I'm doing it, so there's some M3 content in this video. But first, we're gonna have an interview with the reason why we're having this conversation, and that is a nail that's stuck in this tire. I found out, and it's sitting right there. So, Nail, what do you have to say for yourself? Okay, and then? kids nowadays. And according to the Bureau of Made Up Statistics, 98% of punctures are caused by a nail, a screw, or something sharp that goes into the tire. But luckily my solution is so easy and if you follow my videos you know that I'm a huge, huge fan of this solution because I carry these two containers in the trunk of each one of my cars and this container is this fix a flat kit. You've got these pins, I'm gonna show you how to use them, and you've got these plugs and whatnot. Here we've got this uh, air pump that's both battery operated and uh, assisted if you wanna plug it into a 12 volt socket. We also have these needle nose pliers that will allow us to pull the culprit out and uh, we'll be on our way in no time. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna try to not block the camera, but I'm gonna get myself set up. I'm gonna grab one of these and this is a, a fix a flat kit. It's a little piece of the rubber thingy that you insert into this tool. This tool has a little separation in the middle. So you squeeze it inside make a little T, let it sit halfway, and we're going to position it here for now. Then we're going to open up this container containing Vaseline. We're gonna dip this guy, this is a little spike. We're gonna dip it in uh, Vaseline. I'm gonna set this aside. Then we're gonna take these pliers and we're going to try to pull this guy out. Check this out. Come on. Uh. All right, we need some stronger pliers. Oh yeah. And what do we have here? We have a piece of metal. Hey look, I found a blanket. And I'm still keeping myself clean. Let's do it from this side. Spike goes in. Not to be confused with Spike Lee. And we're gonna put this guy in. Yeah, it's, it's going guys. Yeah, okay, so you want to leave these two guys out, check this out, you want to leave this much of this piece out, and then you just, you don't twist, you simply pull, and, whoa, and the camera flipped, and that's it. So this you can either cut off, or it'll drive itself away. But essentially, we have now plugged the tire. The easiest way to check if it's plugged, if you have any soapy water, have some saliva on your finger, check this out. Ooh, that's some nasty saliva. Bam! No bubbles of any kind. The last step is taking our pump, setting it up to how many PSI? We're gonna do 34 PSI and pumping away. And this is what it looks like. There's a little beak. Hello, hello, I'm a fixed tire. Whoop, whoop. And we're done. Look, my shirt is squeaky clean. Even my hands are squeaky clean. I don't even have to use wipes or anything. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope this video was somewhat helpful. I mean, if you're stranded in the middle of the road, it's so much easier to use these tools than to have to change the tire, especially if you don't know what you're doing, or maybe call a tow truck. I would advise against using the gooey substance because sometimes it can damage the tire and you have to replace the whole thing anyways. So, investing just a couple of dollars in this, always keep it in your trunk, is, uh, is a wise, wise uh, solution. 
Speaking of wise solutions, if you have any solutions for me in terms of how I did in this video, uh, comment down below. I wanted to thank you very much for watching. Everything I used, I'm going to link down in the description for your pleasure. And uh, thank you very much for watching. You, thank you, you, and you. You, you were not paying attention. You, towards the end, you kind of drifted away, but I'll forgive you. So, thank you, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.